Here we have the problem x squared plus 8x plus 7 all over x squared minus 4x minus 5. Now don't be tempted just to go like that. Okay, you cannot do that. The x squareds, they're not separate. When you see pluses and minus signs in between things, they go together. So you can't cross them off unless you can cross that whole entire thing off. So now I'm looking at the top and the bottom separately to simplify. So I look at this top. I can't pull anything out, but I can make two parentheses. I put an x and an x. My factors of 7 are 1 times 7. My goal is to get a positive 8. So they both have to be positive. So I need to have a plus 1 and a plus 7. On the bottom, I can't pull anything out, but I can make my two sets of parentheses. I have an x and an x. My factors of 5 are 1 times 5. I need to get negative 4. Therefore, my 5 has to be negative. So positive 1, negative 5. Then I look at what I have. I notice I have an x plus 1 on the top and on the bottom. Therefore, they can cancel. And I'm left on top, x plus 7, on the bottom, x minus 5.